I'll tell you a story that happened to me. Once, there, maybe six, seven years ago, there was a um, crazy situation in the Holy Land that um, the Palestinians were shooting rockets and, 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 and all of that mess into, into our um, villages, into our cities. And uh, in one of the nights, I went. It was a very hard time. Many people were killed in those days. And me, in those days, I was doing many times six hours in Bodadut at night. I was helping my wife to put the kids to sleep. And then I would go at night, 9 a.m., 9, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., go to the fields, to the forest, to wherever, many times to graves of Tzadikim. And in that night, I went to a grave of a righteous man that his name is Rabbi Yudha Ze'ev Lebovich. Rabbi Yudha Ze'ev Lebovich, that he buried in um, Bet Almin in Bnei Brak, and over there, close to the Chazonish. And over there, I was doing my hit bodedut, and I was crying, and I was calling Hashem, please Hashem, help Am Yisrael, that we won't have people dying so much and help us and try to cancel judgments as much as I, I, I could with my prayers, with my tefillot, with my bodeduyot. And suddenly it came to me that there is something wrong with my attitude. I felt that Hashem Barach, He can do such hard things to us and how can it be that I let him do something so wrong, Hashem? And that thought was very, it was frightening me. Like, who are you to say that Hashem is doing something wrong? But I still, I felt like people are dying, so something is wrong, and Hashem is on top of everything in the world, so what's going on? And then I, I felt like that is the prayer that Hashem is giving me. And I, I felt like going and, and, and arguing with him. And I did it. I felt like that will be my bodhidut of tonight. And I dared. And I was very, like you say in Hebrew, chatsuf, rude. And I was fighting with Hashem completely. I put all of my powers on that. I told him, you can't do that anymore. It's not fair. It's not right. People are sacrificing themselves for you. And I was arguing. I was fighting with him. All the way, and exhausted, I went back home. In the next day, a righteous man, that his name is Rabbi Aaron Stern, the son of Rabbi Alter David Chaim Stern from Bnei Brak, a very righteous and very famous rabbi, called me. And he told me, I want you please to... We had a certain meeting in that night, and we had a conversation. And in the end of that conversation and my prayers in that night, in the next day he called me and told me, I want you please to call your rabbi and tell him, tell him that you stopped, you canceled a huge decree. So I didn't, I didn't know. But okay, so you, can you tell me about it? I asked him over the phone. He said, from heaven... There was a huge judgment, something very dangerous that was about to happen to Am Yisrael. And you, with your tefillot and with your attitude, with your approach, you canceled that decree. And then he said, and Mashiach was about to come in that Sukkot, and you stopped him from coming. So, I didn't know anything about it. It wasn't my intention. I never thought about it. Mashiach didn't cross my mind while I was praying and doing my religion. And that is what the, that righteous man decided to tell me. I didn't call him, I didn't ask him what was the effect of my prayers. That's a phone call that I received from him in the next day. So, look at what it goes on. When Mashiach is coming, so Mashiach is a huge light. And when there is a huge light on something, it reveals, it brings out all of the defects, all of the problems. And then judgments and angers are waking up on the lackings. So then people become guilty. And they're not really so guilty, just the fact that Mashiach is already in the gates of Jerusalem makes them guilty. The fact that the Geula is here, that Mashiach is here, that Bet HaMikdash is here, that everything is pure, suddenly you become so impure, so contaminated. And we don't want that. 
we want to keep on working on ourselves. So when I was arguing and fighting and trying to cancel the judgments, what that it did was to reject that aspect that caused Mashiach in a way. I don't know what happened in that night. I don't have no clue, no understanding. I don't have those hasagot, high uh, spiritual understandings to see those things. I haven't experienced that. I just heard what that person told me. If it brings some light to your questions, we do need to want the redemption to come. We do need to see the Geula is coming. But we're not allowed to give up on our brothers as long as we do that. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks, husks.